Hello everyone, this is Joy Universe and in today's video I want to show you a little trick about how to get to Shaper's Terrace from the Angoros Crater. So we are at the fly point. Uh, what we want to do is go to the little ramp behind the fly master and we want to start from this little edge right there. And you want to mount up and jump while pressing levitate and the goal is to try to land on the little plateau on top of the hill now if you're not a priest um, uh, or if you're a mage for example you can use slow fall if you're neither a priest or a mage I think you can also use parachute cloak if you're an engineer uh, although I never tested so I cannot say for sure whether it works or not so I'm just gonna do a couple runs and uh, as you can see it's not very easy to get it done, but after a couple tries, you will get the hang of it. So uh, let's just wait it out. Okay, so this time I think I got it. So we want to jump and press levitate, and yeah, here we go. So once you're at this plateau, you want to just follow the path upward. And here we are, uh, we're at the Shaper's Terrace. Now, don't be scared by those high-level mobs. They are very soluble. It just takes some time. So I will show you a clip where I kill one of those. Now, there are two levels that these mobs can be. Either level 77 or level 78. Uh, well, the level 78 will be substantially longer to kill than level 77 but either way they don't hit very hard and they don't really have any special abilities so you just you know just um, grind it out and they will eventually die um, I have killed quite a few of those mobs and um, I think they only drop silver coins I'm not too sure but I think they only drop uh, coins but um, if you want to test it out let me know in the comment section if they drop any gray items or any cloth pieces and uh, yeah that's about it for today hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>